Hello, this is Daniel and in this video I will show you how to download Achina Trader, install it, activate it and in the end how you can receive market data with Achina Trader. China Trader just open a regular web browser like I use I'm using Edge but you can also use any other browser like the Google Chrome or Firefox or else simply type in AchinaTrader.com and click the enter button to load the Achina Trader main web page once the page is loaded just go to the top menu and click the trial button it will forward you to the trial web page where you can find uh, a short instruction at the bottom right side how to download a china trader you would also find a link with the system requirements and i would recommend that you open this link it will show you the system requirements needed for a china trader let's go back to the download page if you click the download free trial button immediately the download of the software will start this can take a few minutes depending on your internet connection on the web page what you will also see above the button is supported data feeds if you don't already have one you could request a demo or, or get a live account with teletrader lens and partner iq feed or bar chart all four will provide end of day or intraday data either delayed or real time in the demo package you mostly have delayed data but also some real-time data like with forex but of course if you purchase or subscribe to any of their services you can have uh, real-time data level one level two with for all the markets you require till the download is finished let's just switch back to the system requirements and walk it through as i said you need an operating system uh, Windows operating system 7 to 8 Apple we are not supporting Apple but you could install a virtual machine to install Windows on it uh, you will need a minimum uh, screen resolution of 1024 times 708 till full HD maximum resolution we at ne least need a dual core processor but we would recommend a quad core processor the RAM memory is also very important you should at least have 8 gigabyte and recommended 16 gigabyte of RAM memory. You can either use a standard SATA hard drive or SSD uh, hard drive. This is up to you. Of course, with SSD, you have uh, you shorten your loading times. Very important is the system type. It must be a 64-bit operating system, 64-bit Windows. If you don't, if you need to have more information about it, just click the link and we'll forward you to the Microsoft FAQs. You will need an internet connection with a China Trader with at least 16 Mbit or more. And you will have to install the .NET framework uh, latest version, but at least 4.6. Also note that you should turn off your sleep mode if you want to use Rukchina Trader because during sleep mode it cannot execute or operate any orders or download of course data. The same requirements are valid for add-ons. So we are almost finished with the downloading and when we hit the run button we will start installing Rukchina Trader. It will prompt the administration uh, control. You have to allow Agena Trader to be installed, so click yes. It will open the first window, which is showing you the version number of Agena Trader. Hit the next button. In the next uh, window, you can define the location of the installation. We, I would recommend that you use standard settings. As you can see, the space required to install Agena Trader is very small only need about 300 megabyte on space on your hard drive we hit the install button and the China Trader will start installing 
if you haven't installed SQL Server Compact files, it will automatically prompt the installation for you. So just click the next button and read the terms and conditions and accept it. Again, next and hit install. When you click a finish button, it will ask you to restart your computer. I would recommend that you click no here at the first moment. Otherwise, we would also cancel the installation of Agena Trader. So click no. Wait until Agena Trader finished downloading. And you will have the option to reboot your system now again. I would recommend that you do so and restart your system. And once you restarted the China Trader, we just go to the system Windows system menu where you can see which kind of system type operating system you have, the RAM memory and which kind of processor to see if it fits with the system requirements uh, already discussed. If you don't know if .NET Framework is installed, go to the control panel, change the view and click on programs and features. And on the left side, you can click turn Windows features on or off. And here you can see if you have installed .NET Framework. And as you can see, the checkbox is checked. So from our side, it's fine. If the checkbox here is not checked, then activate it. And once you click OK, it will start installing it. But let's close this windows and start a Gina Trader with a double click. It will start loading a Gina Trader and as you can see with the first start of a Gina Trader it will ask you for an activation key. If you already have a demo activation key or a live key you can just copy paste it into this first row and click on the activate button and close this window and a Gina Trader will start with this key. If you don't have any keys, then go to request demo key. After you filled out the form with a name and the correct email address and language, you also have to accept uh, that we sent you some helpful tips and updates about Agena Trader via email. Once you accepted the checkbox, you can click request demo key and it will automatically request the demo key from our server and activate it in Agena Trader. The next step is about data. As you can see, you have three options where you can select either a free end of day data feed plus a simulation trading account. The second option allows you to request a demo account from Taipan, which is Lens and Partner or Bar Chart with a few simple steps or the third option allows you to enter existing credentials from a broker account or data feed account. It doesn't matter if Timo or Live both can be used. You can enter or create connections also afterwards you started uh, the Agena Trader workspace. We will just go ahead with the free end of day data and the simulation account and click next. And then you have to read or you should read our terms and conditions and accept it. If you reject it, the Gina Trader would close. And after you accepted the terms of conditions, the data feed and the simulation account is automatically connected. You can enlarge the window to full size. And at the bottom left, you will see the connections like the JFeed with 87 instrument symbols loaded. In the bottom status bar, you will also have the progress bar, the system status, the internet ping, a CPU indicator, and if you are connected to Traders Yard, our social trading platform. On the right side, you will find the installed Agena Trader version. If we have an update for you, you will see a green download button next to the version number or for major updates, we will notify you with a pop-up on Agena Trader Start. 
If you want to disconnect from any connection, go to main connections. You can find here con under connect the connected accounts and with disconnect, you can disconnect your, for example, your data feed. What you can find there as well is uh, an option to stop history loading if you want to uh, stop the loading for the moment or if you want to add a new account, either data or brokerage. If you want to add or edit a new account, you have to disconnect from all connections. You have a button for that, disconnect all. As you can see, you have an option to add a new connection, request a demo, which is again Barchat and Taipan. You can edit a selected existing connection or you can remove a selected existing connection. You will see the providers you already have, JFeed, Google, SIM account, Yahoo feed. And as you can see, JFeed and Yahoo feed is selected as feed with the checkbox and the SIM account as broker. In the data feed tab, you see all your data feed connection, which are activated as data feed and which instrument types they would download after the connection has been established. And with the account step, that you can find all your brokerage accounts and the instrument types it will uh, allow sending orders to. Let's go to the request demo button. And as you can see, you can select a provider, which is your bar chart or Taipan. Let's make, make a trial with Taipan data feed. You have to enter a connection name. And of course, fill out the form and hit the request button. This can take a few minutes and you have to accept installing Taipan real-time software. It will automatically import the instrument mappings and symbols in order to communicate with Taipan. And as you can see, after it is finished, you see the Taipan connection selected as feed. And if you want to save the new added account, you have to click OK. Afterwards, you simply go again to main connections, connect and select the new data feed Taipan. It will then automatically start the connection. It will also start type on real-time software, which needs to be open, but can be uh, put on the background. And you will also receive a new workspace, the Taipan workspace. And if you want to switch to this new workspace, you simply go to main workspace and select Taipan. But let's stay with the regular one and go to the new list tab. Here with clicking on an empty cell, you can just type in a new symbol name or the name of the instrument you want to have or the ISIN. And by double clicking, clicking the result, you can just load as you saw the Microsoft symbol and you will have charts. But you can also use the scanner toolbar with the plus minus buttons to search for new symbols or to remove some. This is the end of this first video. I hope it helped you out with the installation and the configuration of the data feed and of course the license activation. As a next video you should watch, I would recommend the product description video which gives you a brief overview about the features supported by a China trader for either trading or chart analytics. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.